uh, as cool. Pablo did. Keep they used to write quite a bit, and um, one of the guys who has caught my attention, you know, I've just gotten to know over the years, and he's absolutely the coolest team manager out there in MotoGP. He's proven how cool he was by already bringing us uh, Tony Elias, so I'd like to see if he's slurking out there. Yes, absolutely. Former MotoGP racer, Italian legendary superstar, Lucio Cecanella. Ciao, Lucio. Ciao. You're going to take off all your clothes this time. <laughs> Lucio spoke for us at Sepang this year, and we gave him one of our shirts, and they were right there on the spot. He took off his shirt and gave it to us. Unfortunately, I'd given all my staff cameras to the women in the audience, and nobody got a picture of that. <laughs> Lucio, how you doing? I'm fine. Hello, everybody. How are you? You enjoy MotoGP? <laughs> yeah. I... I'm happy to be here with you and uh, to be with uh, such kind of people because I know that you come with your heart here and I love people who love MotoGP. Uh, yeah. uh, that certainly applies to you guys and I have to say I've worked with a lot of teams and we're good partners with Grassini and I say nothing bad against them because they're brilliant but when Lucio talks about heart, the team with the heart in MotoGP, these guys, LCR Honda. Get behind them. <laughs> Anything you want to say about the weekend or how the race going? And any secrets you can tell us? Well, um, I think Tony already explained that uh, we are facing a tough period, but uh, we are there with our passion and we are trying to continue to do our best for the future. And um, let's say that uh, it's always a pleasure to be here in uh, Brno because uh, it's a wonderful track with the wonderful spectators, wonderful uh, atmosphere, good weather uh, most of the time, so we really enjoy it. And uh, Tony's done pretty well here in the past, <laughs> we might add. He won in the Moto2, I think he had podiums in the previous two years in MotoGP, so uh, we, uh, we're not writing him off yet. And yeah, Lucio, always brilliant to see you, and thanks very much for joining us. I've just been reminded of a little factoid, by the way, that I actually knew, and I... <laughs> Does anybody here know who holds the 125cc lap record in Brno? There's the man. And how many years ago was that? Yeah, in 2003. <laughs> 2003, he went around this track faster than any other 125 rider, even Danny Webb has done since then. Way to go. <laughs> there aren't many records that old left in the Grand Prix. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's fantastic, uh, remember, and uh, I, you know, I, I, I I will cross my finger, but maybe tomorrow, well, maybe on, uh, on Sunday the, the record will be beaten. But anyway, I, have, uh, I am really, really happy to, to, to be able to continue, even after my racing career, to be here in, uh, in, this, in the paddock, you know, and to continue to walk in the paddock and to try my best to, you know, to continue to, to reach uh, goal and to develop young riders. And uh, you know, every time there are uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, memories that we can uh, we have uh, in the in the years, you know. And uh, I remember, for example, here in coming in Czech Republic, you know. I remember I came in Czech Republic when I was uh, 16 years old. Yeah, I did mechanic, you know. And uh, yes, yes. <laughs> And uh, I had my first night <laughs> here in Czech Republic with a Czech girl. <laughs> you have very good taste. <laughs> that was many, many years ago, yeah. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and another, uh, another history, another 
a funny history is that in uh, the, the, my first time I came here for racing in Czech Republic, I stopped in the in the border between Austria and Czech Republic during the night. I remember that uh, I eat something in a in a restaurant uh, in the border, you know, and then uh, and then uh, at night we eat together with Navi Wade, you know, and then we slept in uh, different uh, trucks, you know, in a different uh, trucks, and then in the same time at night I think at around three o'clock we didn't feel good at both, you know, and then both at the same time at three o'clock in the night we open the door and we start to drive uh, some business, you know. <laughs> Because we felt bad, you know. It was uh, another uh, another funny story. I always feel that way after my 17th pint of Czech beer. <laughs> Once again, Lucho, we're, in a few moments we're going to be auctioning uh, one of your team's shirts and of course uh, the winner will also get to spend Saturday night uh, in her hospitality unit, not in your truck, <laughs> but uh, depends on how she looks. <laughs> Yeah, for dinner with, with LCR in the paddock and that is always an incredibly fun evening because you meet everybody. Uh, Alaska, we've already had Tony sign this shirt but I'm going to have you sign it as well. Well, this weekend, if anybody is going to break that 125cc world record, 